Hi guys, so this is Bird Brat and Chat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my second trimester weeks 20 through 25 video, and then we should be pretty much all caught up. Yay! So, um, for weeks 20 through 25, the fatigue got a lot better. I started getting more energy, which was really nice because I was still working at this point. So, it was helping because I'm a or I was a waitress, so it helped a lot on going faster and getting things to the tables on time and stuff like that. Um, I had no nausea at all by this point, which was really exciting because I was super tired of nausea. So it finally went away completely, and I was like, yes. Um, also. Um, like I mentioned in my last video about the pink toothbrush, I went to my dentist appointment during these weeks and they said that I needed six fillings, which was really weird for me because I've never had to have any kind of dental work done at all before. They always just told me, you know, oh, your teeth are good, you just need to get them clean and that's it, you know. So I was like super nervous. I was like, oh my god, I have to get six fillings, like... <sighs> You know, and I'm a big baby about that kind of stuff, so it really sucked a lot. And other than that, they pretty much said that I was good. And, you know, they just, just like, make sure that you're brushing for like five minutes twice a day. And, you know, the gums bleeding should get be better and all that. So... I did all that, and then also my appetite increased a lot since the nausea was gone, and I was eating like a crazy amount of stuff, which I, I don't know, it's weird because now that I'm a little bit further along, now I'm kind of getting a little bit more nausea and stuff, but during these weeks, it was completely gone, so I was eating like a lot, and I would eat like a whole pizza to myself and then still be hungry like 20 minutes later. Like, it was ridiculous. Um, also, for my doctor appointment for these weeks, I finally got my first ultrasound, so that's super exciting. Um, I got it when I was 21 weeks along, and they told us that he was a boy, so. Um, originally, I had planned for the baby shower, I was going to do a gender reveal party. And it was going to be really cute, and it was going to be ducks and everything, and we was going to have, like, Hershey bars that said he and she on them and stuff like that, you know. But after Tot seeing that it was a boy, he was just like, well, we're not waiting to tell everybody. And I was like, well, what about the party? And he's just like, I don't care. It's a boy. I'm excited. So pretty much we, like, called everybody and was like, it's a boy, you know, because he was just, like, so ecstatic. Um, also, I'll show you guys the ultrasound pictures a little bit later because I don't have them with me and so I can't just like insert them into the video through webcam, at least I don't think I can, I haven't figured it out yet, but, um, so I'll, I'll do one with maybe just the pictures or something. Um. Also during this period, I started getting really weird dreams that were like really vivid and stuff. And they'd be like crazy because they'd be like, I would dream that Tot was like cheating on me or something. And it would be so realistic that I would wake up like mad at him and like yell at him. And he'd be like, why are you so upset? Like, what did I do? And I would tell him and he's like, babe, you were dreaming. And I would be like, no, I wasn't. And he'd be like, yeah, you were. And I'd be like... Oh, man, I'm so sorry, babe, you know. And let's see. Also, let's see, during my 24th week, I saw him kick for the first time. And my 14 through 19 weeks, I felt him kick for the first time. But this time, I actually got to see him kick. And it was awesome because you could just see, like, the little ripple and everything. And... I, don't know, I was super excited, and it was like a couple weeks before Christmas, so I was like, oh my god, you know. And let's see. 
Also during those weeks is when I first started getting my back aches really bad and um, like my stomach started like aching a lot like on the lower part from starting to grow because I didn't really start growing until I was about 20 weeks and that's when I started kind of starting to show, you know. So that's when I started aching more and also that's when I started feeling more heat, I guess. Like everybody is all like, oh my gosh, it's so terrible when you're pregnant in the summer because like you overheat and all this and you know, they told me that I shouldn't be cold in the winter or anything because it was going to be so hot. And I'm just like, you're crazy. I'm about to freeze to death, you know. But during these weeks, it started, like, heating up a lot. Like, some of the nights I couldn't even sleep because it was just like I'd be sweating to death, you know. So, yeah. Um, also, um, constipation was really bad during those weeks. So... I think it was mostly because of, like, iron and stuff like that, but, yeah. So, I think that's it for weeks 20 through 25, so I'm super excited now because we're all caught up and you guys can start watching weekly.